Good evening, everyone. Welcome to 1010 Prayer Online. Today is Monday, the 13th of April, and it's after Easter. What a wonderful news it is, right, that Jesus is risen. So today, even as we come back to build this altar of prayer, just want to remind you what prayer altar is about. Remember, firstly, it's a spiritual gateway between heaven and earth, a stairway to heaven. Secondly, it's the presence of God. A prayer altar is really the place where we commune with God, we have fellowship with God, and we invite Him in His presence to come into our lives, into our homes, into our cities. And the beautiful thing about the prayer altar in this communion with God is to know God's heart as well. And so today, I thought that it'd be good and to remind ourselves that when we come into God's presence, we should start with thanksgiving. Psalm 100 says you enter His gates with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is an essential part of building that relationship with God. What, why do we want to thank God? So let's look at Psalm 100. Turn with me to your Bibles and we will look at Psalm 100 and I'm going to read all of it. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. And His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. For the Lord is good, for His love endures forever, and His faithfulness continues to all generations. So why? Why must we enter the presence of God? Not with requests, not with our problems, not with our needs even, but with thanksgiving. Why? Because the first thing it does is this. When you enter His gates with thanksgiving, when you begin to close off yourself from all the concerns, all the needs, all the fears, and begin to give thanks to God, something in our heart changes. There's a refocus. We no longer focus on our problems. We no longer focus on our fears. We focus on a God that is good. So when we give thanks to God, first thing is, there's a refocus from our needs to God Himself. And because of that, it also reminds us, it reminds us that this God that is going to, we are going to commune with, He's such a good God. Look at what the psalmist says. The psalmist says, as you enter His courts with thanksgiving, you will know that He is the Lord our God. It is Him that made us, and we are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Why are we reminded? He's the God of heaven and earth. He's the God that made us. We are the sheep of His pasture. I love this emphasis. We are His. We're not just an object. We are His. And what else does it remind us? That God is good. Know that the Lord is good. And His love endures forever. And His faithfulness will pass from one generation to another. Wow! When we enter His courts with thanksgiving, not only are we refocusing onto God, we're reminded of who God is. Reminded He's the God that made us. Reminded that we are the sheep of His pasture. That if we are His sheep, remember, He will guide us. He will lead us into still waters. He will lead us beside green pastures. And not only that, when we remind ourselves who God is, now we are refreshed because we are reminded His good, His love endures forever. No matter what is happening in the world, His love endures forever. And so, when we come into His presence with thanksgiving, we are refocusing away from our fears, away from our needs, away from our concerns, away from our anxieties, refocusing onto God. We are reminded that God is the one who made us. We are His. His good, His love endures forever. His faithfulness will last many generations. And because of that, we are refreshed. That's why the psalmist says, Shout for joy to the Lord. Give, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Do you know something? Every night now, when you spend time to pray and to connect with God, start with thanksgiving. Start with thanksgiving. Think about at least five things to thank Him for. You know, there's so many. I'm going to think of five things to thank Him for. This morning, I, I, I just felt, I, I woke up and I just thank God that actually it's a new day. 
We are healthy for those of us who are healthy. We have a home to be in. We have a family that we can relate to. And not only that, I heard this story of a German man. He was uh, he was he had COVID 19 and so at the end of his uh, stay, he was fortunate. He was healed, but they, they said, no, you need to now pay for the oxygen that you have been using for this past one week. And so he was given, I think, like something like 500 euro uh, bill. And the man cried, but he said, I'm not crying because of the bill of the for the 500 euros for all the oxygen and all the air I breathe, but I'm crying because he said. For 73 years, I never thank God for the air that I have been breathing. So there you are. Give thanks to God and you'll find that you are refocusing away from your fears, away from your anxieties. You will remind yourself that God is good. And not only that, now you're refreshed with a joy. How not to be joyful when God loves us and His love never fails. Amen. So let's close with a word of prayer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because we, today we are reminded not only are we the sheep of your pasture, that we are yours through the blood of Jesus Christ. We have been purchased even with our God. We have been redeemed. We have been taken out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the Son that He loves. And therefore, Lord, we want to thank you. We belong to you. Yes, Lord, we belong to you. I want to thank you for that. Lord, we want to thank you for our family. We want to thank you that they are with us. We want to thank you even for Zoom, that we can connect with our friends out there. We can have fellowship with them even over the digital space. We thank you even, O Lord God, for our phones. We thank you for the connectivity. We thank you for the doctors and the nurses and the frontliners that are really looking after the COVID-19 patients. We thank you for our government that's trying to make wise decisions for us, O Lord God. We thank you for the police that's trying to enforce law. Give them a grace, give them the wisdom to even do it well. So Lord, we want to thank you above all that our God is the maker of heaven and earth. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Spend some time reading Psalm 100 and begin to worship the Lord and give thanks to Him. God bless you. Good night.